today we'll see about transaction management in MySQL or MariaDB. Uh, just for your information, I have two users in my database. So parallelly, I'll be running two sessions, two con uh, con concurrent sessions. MySQL R O T root minus P and let me show you. So I've been logged in as root at in one session, whereas on the other hand okay. So again here I can show you that I have and the user root and orchid. I've uh, just created to demonstrate transaction management. We have created a database called db underscore tran sac tran transaction. So I just loaded it. Oops. I'm sorry for this. Coming back say I have use BV transaction so both the both users have been concurrently accessing the same database now let me go back and set the auto commit mode to off we have a keyword as it is set a u t o c o m m i t commit equals zero. So this becomes the auto commit mode has been off that says every commands need to have commit keyword explicitly just for an example I have a create I have a table okay so the table looks something like this and let me insert some record insert into into table name and that is do you my dummy the name of the column values sorry and the name of the column is name values let's say ROM perfect uh, just in case if I see here SELECT select asterisk from Dummy, dummy I don't find it that says unless you don't commit the information is still in the buffer the information is that data or say item X for instance this whole record will be considered as item X is considered as in buffer so unless I say you MMIT commit okay so now if I go back and if I hit I can see that record being inserted coming back so uh, just in case just in case instead of saying instead of saying commit oh I forgot telling you once you write commit the transaction uh, still we are not in the transaction now so let me go back and say transaction so if I have to start multiple transactions, I say strt start tran sac tran transaction. Any statement after it will be considered as transaction. Just for an example, insert into into table name. Say sita. Okay, I have one more record here. Gita. Oh, another record. Pretty. Perfect. So right now I have inserted three records and that is done. But if you go back here and if you still see, no, that record is not available over there. 
let's say I want to modify that uh, Gita it's not GITA Gita it's instead it's GEETA Gita so that would have been said uh, UPDAT update dummy shit name equals to GEE TA Gita where name equals to GITA Gita perfect but still if I come here and it still say if I say it's not informed it's not yet informed that uh, any of the records have been modified well so now what I do is what I do is uh, now if I say rollback or okay, say if I say SELECT select asterisk from BUMMY dummy what do I find here is the record here there are records and the modified one as well but but if I say ROL raw BSEK back what happens what happens all the information all the information before the committed state will be rolled back that means all these new records will be uh, removed from the database in order to take it to the consistent state perfect okay so here we are with one possible record so that is what happens before you start the transaction whatever is the consistent state of the database that will be maintained even after the rollback process has been initiated okay uh, so I have shown you something called commit I have shown you something called rollback now in between now in between uh, what if I have been using locks let's see let's see say uh, I start the transaction I start the transaction and then after then after I lock the table lock the table dummy okay simply okay so if I have to lock table I say LOCK lock D A B L E S tables D U M M Y dummy and what sort of right lock do you want to put is it a right lock or is it a read lock if I put a read lock then the data item I'll be accessing from that table that is okay if some other concurrent users can still be able to access it if I have the right read lock in case of write lock only I'll be only this particular session will be able to use those records no any other uh, say sessions or concurrent user will be able to uh, access that particular database item and it has to wait for memory to be free let's see lock tables dummy and in case of write is much more uh, say a strict one so I am just putting the right lock perfect so just for the time being I'll say INSCRT insert say you on your table insert INQ into DUMMY dummy uh, column name is called name and we have values values and then we have PRA GIMA Pratima okay what about here select dummy and can you see that I'm still waiting I'm still waiting until and unless I don't remove the lock I'll have to wait for indefinite period of time so well then just in case keep eye on the orchid login keep eye on the orchid login and now I'll release the lock I simply say U N L O C K unlock dummy oops give me a second it's not uh, the table name it's uh, the command it says double tables so unlock the ABLES tables and we are keep eye keep eye on here
Perfect. You see that? Now you might wonder, where are those two, three, and four records? Well, uh, its uh, possibilities are the database or MySQL keeps on increasing, even though keeps on increasing the counter, even though uh, that value has been uh, removed or say it's been set, even though you have any issues. Okay, so far so good. I hope uh, you got something. You got knowledge about how to start transaction and uh, how to roll back what's the meaning of a rollback and then after what happens so when we say commit and now finally if I say commit I don't have to because I didn't start any transaction okay so any statement now and onwards will automatically be committed to the database okay just for the time being fine it says that after you have committed and you want to go to the next transaction you can you'll have to still specify the start transaction and now this will start another transaction okay <clears throat> is we start another transaction anything here now let me tell you if you make any modification say if you have inserted some record if you have inserted some record heman h e m u hemangu okay so hemangu have a record perfect inserted but now, if I go back here and if I see dummy, I don't find it. Now look at this. In case if you alter the table, then the transaction will automatically be committed to the disk. Mark my words. If you alter that table, the transaction will be committed to the disk. Means ALT or alter, TABLE table, whatever you perform. Whether you add any column, whether you remove any columns, then after. The transaction will be automatically committed to the disk. It will be written to the disk, even if you have not explicitly provided the commit keyword. Let's see. Alter table, table name. The table name is called UMMY dummy, and we say just uh, just for the time being, add C O L U M N column. Let's say C O L call three, and that would be that would be say V A R C H A R varchar, and that would be one twenty five, and that would be default the if you to default and you will have null fine so now if you come back if you come back and if you see here do you see that the transaction has been committed the transaction has been committed so this is what i have said that whenever you in the between of any transaction if you happen to use alter command mark my words in between the transaction if you happen to modify the database the disk it will be written to the disk and your auto commit mode is off now and the transaction has been committed and the transaction has been committed as well as your auto commit commit mode is off now okay so far so good Now, if you have any queries, you can always post into it, and you can also mail me at uh, my email address. It's callmethiras at gmail dot com. Uh, for the simplicity, uh, it's callmethiras at gmail dot com. Thank you everyone, thank you for watching.